name is Maxime Bellin. I'm creative director on Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction. I think we've got a really good presence this year at PAX. There's always like 30, 40 people that are there watching the demo, so that's great. I also did the panel last night. Uh, you know, for half an hour, I, I explained what was the, the core vision of the game uh, to like, I think I think there was like 5,000 people. Bloop. Achievement unlocked. Talk in front of 5,000 people. Yes. When we started asking ourselves, what's the player fantasy? How do we want the player to feel when he's playing the game? We decided to change the way we think about stealth games. We wanted Let's you to feel like a predator. And what I love to tell the team is I want the player, I want you guys to feel like a panther, not like a grandmother. Everything we do, we do it with the panther in mind, with, with the predator in mind. We want you to feel badass. Right. We want to focus on Sam, right? You know Sam, he's, he's a great character for us, but we want you guys to know him better. You know, this time it's personal for him. He's not working for third echelon. He's on a personal mission. We really want to change the way we, we tell the story to you guys, right? We want to keep you immersed in the game and control as much as possible. We've got projected objectives in the environment. We've got projected movies. Andre Coven. Uh, we showed the sticky camera and how that is used in the game. So you can throw it, you can mark while using the camera. Uh, you can also detonate it. The idea with the, with the gadgets is that we want to do less, but, but that are better designed and more useful for players, right? Our gameplay loop is, you know, prepare, execute, vanish. We've got two big gameplay features that support that. The first one is mark and execute. And basically the idea behind Mark and Execute, I mean, you've, you've all seen movies, you know, the moment where he's, he's hiding in a corner, he's got his sound suppressed weapon, and then he's getting ready, he's looking at the enemies, and then real fast he takes a deep breath, he comes out of the shadows, you know, and he kills three guys real fast. And that's the feeling we wanted to give you. 